Hey, how's it going? YouTube tutorial 2 defining the start recording function for the audio recorder that we're making for Android. Okay, so as before, this is this was a schematics that we um, we used to lay the foundation, all right, for all our widgets. Okay, and if we come down here, um, we've got a pass there, we can delete all that. So we can delete the pass and start declaring. Um, the widgets that we want to use. Now to import the widgets that we want to use uh, we can uh, choose a variable such as self.start button which is exactly the same name as we gave the ID to start button okay but you can name it whatever you want for example you could do x equals self.id's start button okay but obviously it's a lot easier to understand it this way so that's why I'm doing it because I'm stupid <laughs> alright so start button and then we got stop button okay and we also want to declare the display as well alright now spot the mistake I make that was a bit of a rhyme I should become a rapper maybe not okay you seen the mistake there it's not in quotation marks do not do that that is a mistake that will cause you frustration okay but we're going to fix it later so don't worry about it now we're going to declare some variables here to be used in the function all right self.0 is like the it's, a, it's the default start time so when the start button's pressed um obviously you start from zero one two three four five six seven and, and however it goes okay the default is one self.mins will count the minutes because we want to make a call timer we want it to know that when it reaches 60 it, um, it's a minute so it starts again okay so self.mins is zero for the moment and self.counter is just to deal with all the strings um, and integers uh, conversion as you're gonna see in the next tutorial okay so we're defining start recording clock now you could call this whatever you want I call it this because um, it lets me know that it's a clock function it's scheduling it's actually scheduling another function alright and this is how Kivi likes to do things you can't really use um, sleep time.sleep in Kivi because it doesn't work properly alright but you can use clock instead so that's why I'm doing that so we've got self.0 equals 1 this gets reset every time the function gets called okay and we write a little note here all right okay and then this is how we define the clock schedule so we're basically saying look I want I want you to run a certain function in a certain interval so clock dot schedule interval and run this up uh, this function which is update display all right which we haven't defined yet but we will and I want you to do this every second so press the start button calls a start recording clock which calls the update display function every second right okay we want to disable the start button all right when this is called because it will stop the user from uh, to keep pressing start uh, which will keep calling the function and probably um, crash the program. Okay. All right, and we've got self dot button, and I made another mistake there. Okay, it was auto complete. I just assumed that it said disabled and not display label. All right, but well obviously I'm going to fix that later as well when I figure out that I've done it because obviously I haven't seen it yet, and I think everything's great. <laughs> All right. So we write a little comment here, it prevents the user from clicking start again. Okay, which may crash the program, which is bad. We don't want that. We want our programs to run smoothly. Okay. Right. So, we basically define that. Okay. And now, we just want to start defining the stop record function so this gets called when the stop button's pressed and it unschedules the clock that we just created all right so we do a clock unschedule 
self dot pizza display no, not pizza display update display all right we also um, let's do a self display label and we want the label to display to the user that the recording's finished all right like so recording exclamation mark and we also would like to re-enable the start button otherwise this is really going to annoy the user oh no let's change that to yeah right, okay all right so that's defined now we need to link it to the buttons so we do an on release on the start button we assign it to root dot start recording clock as simple as that and we do an on release on the stop button root dot stop recording clock okay let's just look down here just making sure yeah it's just stop recording so just stop recording or whatever you decided to name the functions you may have decided to name them differently that's fine we also want to do a disabled 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 nah of course true it's just to disable the uh, stop button again after everything's done so that's that that's all linked up to those two functions all right so that's it thanks for watching if you like what you saw please subscribe and click the thumbs up i will appreciate it the next tutorial will be adding the update display function and the link for the code for all of the tutorials are in the description you can also follow me on twitter at netpwn more tutorials coming the next one we're going to be doing the update display so obviously uh, it's going to get a bit more hectic in there and then after that, hopefully, we're going to be adding the record function so we can actually access some Android hardware. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. And I'll see you next time. See ya.